Hey YouTube, this is Russian Torts. In today's video is just a quick update video on my fish and his new cage mates, I guess you can call them. So, this is a new setup too. I got a new plant there, a nice big place for his new tank mates to hide. Two banana plants and some of that grass. Now his new tank mates are one ghost shrimp who right now is eating a little pellet food I gave it. It was really nice. You can see how it's going through his body. It was just really neat. It looks really cool. But there's some algae on the glass in the way so you probably can't really see it as well. Right there's your ghost shrimp. And I also got three emano shrimp. There's one sitting on that leaf back there. There's one sitting on the heater. And then there's one on that hut. Now, emano shrimp are really great for eating algae, brown algae, and algae of the leaves. As you can see, that leaf is picked clean by that emano shrimp, but this leaf is still brown, so I need to work on that. Now, the leaf's not as clean as it looks, but there's poop all over it. The emano shrimp, they poop a lot, all shrimp do. But they're not, they're not a heavy bioload because their poop is so little, and you can just siphon it off after a week. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, where's your bed of fish? Shouldn't you be eating them? And yes, before I only had the ghost shrimp in there and it was hiding all day because my beta fish attacked it. But um, my beta fish is sick right now, which is why it's not in this cage, it's in this hospital cage. So I used the chance to introduce these guys into this environment, make them eat some algae, clean up the tank a bit before my beta gets healthy. My beta is in this hospital tank right here, and I put all of this around it to kind of you know, make it less stressful on him. Doesn't see me moving around a lot, it's less stressful, but I can remove this. He's right there. He has fin rot. I discovered this yesterday, so well, you already saw my video on a hospital tank, if you did. That's basically what I set up. And I put some aquarium salt in the water. And I'm gonna do daily water changes, even though there's a small filter running, it's a small cage. So daily water changes, because clean water is the best way to treat fin rot. And once my beta fish is healthy, I'm gonna put my emano shrimp into that cage, because they're pretty expensive. They're about three bucks each, so I pay ten bucks for them, and I don't want them to die. I'm gonna leave the ghost shrimp in here, because I don't really care if it dies. It's, I, I do, it's a nice like, waste eater, but that's why I'm leaving it here, because it eats waste. These are mano shrimp. I'm going to put them in there, and I'm going to feed them the fluval shrimp granules, which is, what I, which is what my ghost shrimp is eating right now. The ghost shrimp, you can see, passed through its body real nice, which is pretty awesome. And I'm going to... I'm gonna actually leave this in here for the ghost shrimp to hide in and I have some fake plants that I can put in the hospital tank for the shrimp which is where they can hide in but for now they're just happily munching on algae so I like this the problem is they're just too small for me to keep with my beta fish because beta fish will just eat them destroy them so it's kind of sad but I'll leave them in here until they grow. They grow to be about two inches, which I think is maybe double that size. So once they're that size, my beta won't mess with them because they'll be his size and he can't do anything about it. Okay, thanks for watching my video. This is Russian Torts. I'll give you a big view of the new setup again. I am supplement. I used to like for the last two days supplement CO2, but with the shrimp, I'm just turning it off because too much CO2 is poisonous for shrimp. For every animal, too much CO2 is poisonous, but shrimp are sensitive. And I don't have the proper diffuser yet, so I don't want big bubbles bursting in there and then too much CO2 being put into the water. So yeah, I'm going to hook that up once I get the dispenser, which is like in a week or so. But anyways, this is Russian Torts. Oh yeah, and this plant, you see that little stalk growing from the bottom to up there? At the beginning, there was only about one centimeter of it sticking out of the rock and I have this plant since last weekend so in seven days this whole thing grew like crazy which is awesome this plant really likes the light it's right under so yeah anyways this is Russian Torch thanks for watching my video and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below